Since the start of the pandemic, of course, our primary concern has been, in addition to finding animals home and caring for the animals that are at the shelter, is making sure that the people are safe and that we can stay as healthy as possible. And so since our volunteers weren't able to come into the shelter like they normally do, we put a call out for them to foster. So we instantly were able to get a couple hundred animals out of the shelter into foster homes and that helped prepare them for adoption and we did adoption straight from the foster homes. And it took a little bit longer than um, people coming in and meeting an animal and then being able to take them home the same day. But uh, a couple of months ago, I think we relaxed our restrictions to the public and now we try to limit it to 10 people like in the front lobby, including staff at any time. So um, people can come in and meet their animals and adopt them the same day. We have some amazing supporters and um, they have really stepped up during COVID and um, been as supported as ever. Of course, we've seen a dip, a dip in income around adoption fees in particular because adoption slowed down for a while while we were trying to get used to, I think, our new normal this year. But as far as fundraising goes, we've seen a little bit of a dip, like about 14%, but um, I think that's great considering what we've all gone through this year. Yeah, excuse me yeah. if I may excuse yeah. you. Little I'll baby? See, I'll see you in a minute. Oh yeah, she's not even trying to build. She is not. Come on, baby. Come on, baby.